There's a fibro washer there, just take that out. Next is taking out the circle clip. You need some um, uh, circle clips that go from inside out. Uh, these are an adjustable set. If you can get your hands on one of these, these actually can do both ways. This is uh, a set which I bought from Snap-on. Uh, part number I think is PR, P for Peter, R for Robert, H for Helen, 3-2. Uh, I have had these for quite a number of years, so I don't know if they're still available, but um, you see your local tool guy and he'll be able to let you know. Uh, okay, so I just removed these. Um, oops, better get both hands in there. That's our circle there. And then we're going to pull our front planetary gear out. That's our front planet. If you want to come over here, Frank. Now, this is, uh, you've got the front planet. You've got the washer under there. You've got your annulus. And then you've got another washer under there as well, which goes into the, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, now, on, um, for our purpose, for us, for a standard rebuild, these are, these are nothing wrong with them. Uh, we, uh, they're, they're reusable, but for our purpose, uh, because uh, it will be for a more heavy duty application, we're going to get a different set of planetary gears for these, which I will be showing you on the rebuild. Um, yeah. Uh, now the way to check these planets to see if they're good, you check them for, there's washers on either end, you just move them side to side, I'm moving in this direction here, there's just a bit of clearance, that's fine. I'd say about five thou, ten thou is quite actually, uh, or ten up, uh, ten or so thou is um, is fine. That's perfect. And I'm checking them this way to see if there's any rock. No rocks, because uh, what we're checking is the pinions. Make sure the pinions haven't got wear on them internally. So that's fine. They're all working lovely. Uh, let's put that as a set together. That. The annulus, actually we'll put it on this, the annulus and our washer. Now, this is what you call a shell or a bell. Others call them bell, others call them shell. Um, so the three holes in there, that's where our three legs on the washer sits. So that goes in there. Right on the back there's another washer and those three legs sit in the next item which we bring out. So, I'll put the washer in there, I'll put this one there. Uh, next one is another planetary gear. And this is our rear planet. This works in reverse. Uh, gives us a different ratio. Again, it's got three pinions in it. Uh, we're going to put, uh, uh, we probably won't be using these. Either though, either though these can go for another 100,000 miles, they'll look great. Again. No movement, that's fine, but for this customer's purpose, we'll be putting some upgraded gear in it. Uh, the washer goes in there, we can put on there so we know it all goes together. That's our annulus. We have got a small washer in there, that just comes out. Let's put that in there, and that goes in there. In the series. Uh, next we have our rear drum, uh, that's the drum that the rear band wraps around. Uh, just check it for surface, make sure there's no heat spots from the band. Uh, see the wear mark on there, that looks quite, quite good. There are some heat spots on there as well, which is not a big issue. If you have a lathe, you can ju just run it on the lathe, give it a bit of a polish, create, create a new surface for it and um, it'll be happy to go for another 100 years. Just put that on there. Now, our back section, uh, what I'll do is I'll finish what I'm doing here. I'm just going to pull the output shaft out now. I'll leave all the guts on the inside if you just want to get the inside there. We still have the band to go and we still have your one-way clutch or the sprag. What I'm doing now is, I'll, is I'm going to slide out this shaft. I'm pulling it out. Oops. There's no bearings, no washers, it's all one unit. You can tip it upside down, nothing will come out. That's great. We've got our governor intact, we've got, we've got two rings there. We've got our roller bearing, which I'm going to check for weight. Yep, it's freeing okay, there's no notches in it. So, 
that's great. Our bearing's fine. Um, if, if you were to replace one of those bearings, they're a special bearing. Uh, they have got a groove in there, so you need to get a bearing, the right bearing with a groove in it to so it can accommodate for that circlip which we're trying to pull off on the dismantling on the extension housing. Yeah. Um, inside here, Frank, you have your band. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, that's our adjustment for the rear band. This is either 17 mil or 1116. Just take that off. Unwind the inside the adjustment that's on the inside there. Just undo it, create a bit of slack for us. Uh, if you come on the inside, the adjust if you see, you see the adjustment there, the adjustment was on there, right inside there, you have the little strut there. So I'm gonna get this long screwdriver. I'm gonna pop out that strut. The front band had two struts, this has only got just the one strut. So it's stuck in there, I'll show you in a moment. You just roll, turn the band anti-clockwise, slip it out, and that's our strut which was on there like this. Inside here we have our one-way sprag. Uh, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve rollers and ele elements. We're gonna just pull that out. Okay, and we just that's it. When you pull the inner sprag out, the rest will just come out, just flick them all out. Uh, as part of this rebuild, we'll be putting uh, an aftermarket bolt-in sprag. Um, these torque lights are known to blow the sprags up under a bit of horsepower, so we do, we definitely want to build this transmission to be reliable and with safety in mind, so Investing one of those bolt-in sprags does go a long way. The last thing you want is uh, for pieces of transmission coming through the floor and onto your feet. Okay, so that's all our elements and our rollers and the inner race. I'm just going to put this over here. And all my bits and pieces in there. Uh, and lastly, I'm just going to remove these servos, uh, the front and the rear servo. Action. Uh, okay. Um, now we're going to now the final uh, jigsaw puzzle in dismantling this transmission completely. We're just going to remove the two servos. Now what I've done, I've got I've got a G, uh, I've I've put on there a G clamp with a little spacer. Um, once I've done that, and I've come and I've compressed it down. Uh, I just need to get in there, um, undo this clip. Be careful, make sure, make sure um, you work in safety. I pulled that clip off successfully. If you are, if you, if you think there's a case where you haven't got a good J clamp or the tool is gonna f um, slip and it's gonna come flying out, uh, make sure you've got a friend in front of you. So next time, Frank, if I haven't got this, I might forget you to stand in front of me, just, just so you can cop the load. I'll make sure, I'll make sure I have the eyes open, wide open. <laughs> you watch everything 3D. It's a new yeah. 3D. It's see, coming. I see coming my way. <laughs> That's it. So, okay, so you can see. I'll show you now how much um, spring there is there. See the tension that came out? So there is a bit of tension. So, yeah, once you release that. Uh, that's what you call the retainer. That's our circlip. That's our retainer. That's our spring, and this is our rear servo. So um, we'll put these aside. We're going to be changing these. We're going to be actually putting some good billet stuff in there, some nice heavy duty stuff, so we, we don't run the risk of cracking the servos under under load. Uh, yeah, and you do the same thing with that too. You just put the um, put the compressor on there, and then you just take it out. This is our. 727 uh, fully disassembled except for this top section here. So I'll just do it quickly. 13. There's four bolts here for our to remove our governor support. 
it just comes straight off there. Uh, make sure there's no hits or nicks there. Make sure the inside is nice and smooth. Uh, our two rings from your governor rings run on there. Just run your finger there all the way around. Make sure there's no grooves in there from the rings. That looks quite good. Uh, just put the bolts in. And that was, if you remember, goes like this. So that those two rings there is what actually engages in that. Uh, it's getting, it's, it is getting a bit dark now. Um, we've just finished our uh, disassembling our transmission. Uh, we're going to knock off. We're going to get home. We're going to come fresh tomorrow, and we're going to show you how to assemble a 727 performance transmission.